Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I just have a fun little project for you guys. Um, it's a little planter and it has a little insert in it. So I, I wouldn't call it a card, I kind of would call it just a, a 3D fun project, I guess. Um, so we are using the Floral Essence stamp set um, and some other pieces here. I'm going to use our layered leaves embossing folder. Our colors are Crumb Cake, um, Whisper White, Rococo Rose, Blackberry Bliss, and Pear Pizzazz. And then we're also going to use a little bit of the Roco Ro Rococo Rose um, ribbon as well. And then of course um, the Floral Essence stamp set coordinates with this punch. This is a bundle. And then we also have a leaf punch in our catalog that also coordinates with that. So let's go ahead and um, create this. I was really just playing around um, and kind of got this idea and thought, well, let me try it and see what happens. So, um, you know, I didn't really have perfect dimensions, um, but I went with it and I actually like how it turned out. So I thought I would share. Um, so first, I'm going to grab our Big Shot. And I just have a scrap piece of crumb cake. This is probably like four by five. I'm just going to put that whole piece into the um, layered leaves embossing folder. Mine is the um, textured one, so my sandwich is the Big Shot platform, my folder with my paper, and one uh, cutting plate. So I'm going to roll that through. And I might need a little bit more, I'm not sure. So let me just put another little piece uh, in in here and just emboss that. And then I'll show you kind of how I how I created the um, bottom of the planter. All right, so let's start with this for now. Okay, so with our um, embossed piece, I'm going to use um, my flower pot as a pattern almost. So I have already cut one. I'm just going to lay this right on here. I'm sure there is a better, better way. Now I'm going to take that other piece and just hold that there because we want these two to match to kind of create our pot. So hopefully I literally was just playing around and didn't really, um, you know, plan this, plan this out per se. So now that we have, oh, what did I do here? I cut my pattern. Not good. All right, let's trim that up. I'm going to just then line these up again because I want these to be as symmetrical as I can get them so that they fit well. So let's trim this and let's trim this little edge. So literally just some, some hand work there. And then we can just make sure that our little insert should still fit. So that looks pretty good. So I just, now that we have our two pieces of our planner, I'm going to adhere these together, um, but we will need that little lip. So these two pieces of crumb cake are cut one and a half by three and a half and you are literally just going to glue those uh, onto your planner. So I'm going to put one down and then I'm going to match that up. Hopefully I'm not running out of glue here. Okay, so let's lay our piece of crumb cake. I almost put the wrong side down there. Just like that. Okay, and now we will lay this one and do the same thing so that so we can really be sure. So even my my uneven uh, hand cutting here won't even show, which is nice. Even though the perfectionist in me wants it all to to line up real well, nobody's gonna see it. 
All right, so let's press those down, okay? Give that a second to dry. Now I did adhere my original one with a little bit of glue. Um, tear and tape will probably hold better, so we're gonna do the tear and tape on this one. So let's put some here along the bottom of our planter box. And let's put some down the sides as well. And I'm literally just going to the edge of that. Okay. I'm going to grab my, my piercing tool. I'm just going to lift the backing off of that. All right, and now we will line these up. Okay, so there is our little planter. How fun is that? So cute. All right, let's grab our Rococo Rose um, ribbon. And you can see I just pieced my ribbon together here on the back, so I'm just going to lay this down, um, get my scissors, I'm probably, well, we'll try to just line it up as close as we can. So this piece of ribbon, let's see, I will tell you, it is about seven inches, and I'm going to use the tear and tape on this one as well. Because the liquid glue will tend to show uh, and come through. Which you can see here in my original that I was playing with. Um, like I said, I wasn't intending on this being a project that I was going to share with everybody, but when it was done, I thought, how cute is that? All right. So the tear and tape definitely is a an improvement over my original. So let's put that there. We are going to wrap that around. And that's pretty good. I'm, not, I'm happy with that, actually. So there's our cute little planner. We're on our way. All right, so now for our insert, um, my piece of crumb cake here is two and a half by three and a half, and my whisper white is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So it's just enough to write um, a little little note on. And we are going to put a cute little sentiment on the front. So let's just layer these together. All right, now let's do a little bit of stamping. So on a scrap of Whisper White, we are going to stamp four of our flowers. Which, where did I put my flower? Oh, here it is. Okay, we're going to do four of, oh, that didn't come out. Let's do four of these. Okay, and we're going to have to do four leaves as well. Let's see if I can, let me check my punch. Well, if I do them on an angle, that will fit. I should have grabbed another scrap. I'm going to stamp those in the pear pizzazz. I want four of those as well. All right, and let's see if I have enough here for our sentiment. So we are using All Days Are Beautiful that begins with you. And we're going to do this in a circle. So hopefully we'll have enough space. We will find out shortly. All right, so now let's start punching.
And now I said I was going to need the big shot, and I'm going to need it for our circles. So I'm going to grab that again. And we are going to use our circle dies here. These are our layering circle dies. That one will fit, but I need a need a cutting plate under there. Okay, so that looks good. And then we will cut um, a scalloped one in the Rococo Rose. done with this big shot. And let's layer our sentiment together here. I'm really running out of glue. I have to bring another one over to my space here. Alright, so we're going to layer that on there. And now you can see with our little insert here, let me open this a little bit with my hands. You can see how this will, will fit in. It's just going to slide. And then we are going to adhere this with dimensionals to the front of our flower pot. So I'm just going to grab a few of my edges here. That tear and tape I think is definitely a better solution, but it might interfere with my insert since I didn't use that on my first, first design. And then now with our flowers, I love using the glue dots with these because I just find that it's easy. Um, to put them together. One of those up. We're going to offset this flower. And then what I like to do with my bone folder is just curl these up a little bit. It just adds, you know, some dimension to them. So again, we're going to layer those together. You can still move them around too when you use a, a glue dot. Alright, and then we're going to add some glue dots here to the back too. And we're going to stick our leaves into that as well. Kind of feels like a little bit of a, a Facebook Live today since I didn't really plan on this. I'm kind of just going by the seat of my pants here. Alright, that looks pretty good. So I think now I'll bring in some liquid glue and we will set this down. And I want to be sure it's on the insert. Original, um, I did add a little bit of the Blackberry Bliss for the center. Um, so I used the little um, center piece from that stamp set. I stamped that in the Blackberry Bliss. And then I used my little half inch circle punch to pop those out. And then those I popped up with mini dimensionals. So I'm going to grab one of those here. And put on. Hopefully I don't get that on my finger. I did already pull that up, okay. And so that just adds another little pop of color, I thought, 
So there you go. There's your little flower pot and your little insert. So I don't want to push it too hard. i got to mess with that tape a little bit. But isn't that fun? You can put a little message in there. And I just love the colors and the texture um, that goes with this little flower pot. So I do hope you guys enjoyed um, today's video. I know I wasn't as planned and polished as I typically am. Um, but when I finished, I thought it was so cute that I wanted to share it with you all. Um, and you could easily, you know, recreate this yourself in different colors um, and make it, you know, beautiful. Little, cute little gift to give to somebody. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll be back with you real soon. Bye-bye.